And lo and behold, what was going on? It was senior day. What do you do when somebody calls you up and says, let's go thrift shopping? Well, I say yes every time. One of my sisters called me and we headed out the door as soon as she got to my house. My name is Cindy from the blog reinventeddelaware.com. We love to go thrift shopping and we love to make over a lot of the items that we find. Today, I'm going to take you along with one of my sisters out thrift shopping and keep watching all the way to the end because I actually had another sister show up and go thrift shopping with us on another day and I don't want you to miss that. I'm also going to share all the goodies that we got at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I'll include the names of the stores that we went to as well as the addresses all down below in the description just below this video. So just scroll down where it says see more, open that up and you'll see all the addresses. Our little town has four thrift stores and I frequent them on a regular basis. They're a lot of fun to go to. We also visited one of the stores in the northern end of our state, but that's towards the end of the video with my other sister. It's Wednesday and my sister came over and we were like, what do you want to do? And we were like, let's go thrifting. <laughs> so we go into Goodwill, of course, here in Milford, Delaware. And lo and behold, what was going on? It was senior day. Uh-huh. What's the age we, on what's the we, age on that? We just barely made it. It it was fifty-five. <laughs> you had to be at least fifty-five to get it, so we just barely made it. <laughs> oh come on, you're way older than I am. So I know you made it. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where are we going next? Uh, well, let me see. There's God's Way yep. in Milford. And then you also have the Salvation Army. Yep. Oh, and then there's oh, one oh, more. Oh, I want to go that, that other place first. Okay, so we're going the, to other places. Yeah, the, the other, Come along the other with place. us. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, it's chilly. It is. It's windy. chillier on this side. <laughs> not, not too bad. It's just windy, I think. Okay, yeah. so we're at, this place is called uh, God's Way Thrift Store. And I think that all the proceeds go to helping men and women get out of some drug addiction issues, okay. alcohol addiction okay. issues. Okay. So I always like spending money here. I'm freezing. We have to go in. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> furniture is such a weakness for me. I absolutely love old furniture. When I saw this sofa, I came so close to getting it. I, I don't mind the little chips in the veneer, the dirt. Of course, I don't mind that. You can clean it. I came so close to getting this. The upholstery was in bad shape. In other words, it was just dirty. It wasn't torn. And I didn't know if I would really have the time to reupholster it. It was a hard one to walk away from. Tell me what your weaknesses are in a thrift store. Do you like little things like this, this hummingbird feeder? Or do you like big pieces of furniture, knickknacks, home decor, kitchen items? Like what are the things? Tell me down in the comments. We used to sell our items in a vendor booth and I was always looking for little things like this little cutting board. And then I, of course, I was always looking for furniture to make over as well. The furniture is my favorite, I have to admit, like this washstand, this is a real weakness of mine. I have three washstands in my house right now that I don't know where to put or what to do with. But when I see one for $35, wow, I can hardly stand to walk away. Look, I even threw my purse down the floor. <laughs> in there we spend a lot of time i feel like yeah. we got what we yeah. kind of zip yeah. through yeah. you yeah. you shop in a similar way that i do you kind of it seems like you do yeah. like a heavy duty yeah. perusing yeah is that how you do it yeah. or? and then i kind of then i kind of go back i i gra i'll grab something that i think i think i'm really interested in this and i'll carry it around mm -hmm. but i can always put it back if mm -hmm. i second guess it so i don't want to impulse but i also don't want to miss an opportunity right because if you don't pick it up somebody, somebody else might yes and yeah. i it seems to me like if you find some uh, something that's interesting and you're looking at it and if there's a woman near you she sees you looking at it oh yeah all of a sudden she's interested yeah. in the thing so i carry it around with me and i can always put it back <laughs> but again impulse buying i try to watch out for yeah but i also don't want to miss a good opportunity same so. same here well we're going to show you what we got but not yet we'll do that at the end yeah yeah and we have at least um one or two 
places to go. I'm trying to sit here and think about where we're going. And um, we're headed to the next one. By the way, I'll leave all the addresses of the places where we're going today, just in case you're in Delaware, the big state of Delaware, <laughs> local thrift stores. So I'll, I'll leave that down below. This thrift store is owned by two sisters, and I tell you, they could be twins. They look so much alike. It's a lot of fun to pop in here and just see some of the goodies that they have. Our local Salvation Army is in the old Acme grocery store. It's always fun to go in and see things like this chair. Look at this beautiful velvet chair. So pretty. It was in such good shape. I like going over to the kitchen aisle where they just have all sorts of, well, it's not just kitchen things. It's a lot of home decor pieces and such. I like to look for measuring cups. I like those that are embossed instead of the painted red. The, that red, by the way, it wears off in the dishwasher. So I'm always looking for the embossed kind. Well, while I was over there, I saw this. Now, what in the world is this thing? This little white dish, it was just about three inches tall. I have no idea. I, I have no idea what this is. If you have any guesses, please guess down in the comments. Tell me what this thing is. Let's solve the mystery. The furniture section was so bare, like there was nothing in the furniture section. I don't know what that was all about. All right, we're back home and my sister has to get, um, she has to get out of here. She's got stuff to do. So let me show you what I got and then we're going to walk over to her car and we'll see what she got. She's going to load up. So for now, let me show you what I have. Didn't get a lot. So you saw this little cutting board. Um, I don't know why I bought it, but it's really cute. It's very little. It's only like, I don't know, five inches or so. I think I'm going to just clean it up and it's just going to be kind of a little decorative item. I like cutting boards to be in my kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see if I do anything. Then you also saw the sweater. I'm just going to throw this right into the washing machine and probably wear it tomorrow. That looks really cozy. All cotton. There was nothing wrong with it. It's in really good shape. And then this linen tablecloth. So it does have a couple of stains. There's one. I'll, I'll open this up. We're going to throw this in the washer, but it's definitely linen and I, I love it. Oh, there's another stain. Yeah, well, we'll have to see if we can get those stains out and I might just have to bleach it. Who knows? We'll see. Oh my, it's really stained. Fortunately, I only paid $2. All right, so that those items were pretty cheap because um, it was Senior Citizen Discount Day at at the Goodwill. So it start that that linen tablecloth started to be two ninety nine. It was what were they what were they thirty percent off? So I wound up getting it for about two dollars. So if I can't get the thing all the way clean, I, it's not the end of the world. You no, know, I mean not at all. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what my sister got. Okay, so she hit the mother load like she did a lot better than I did. What is going on with all these sleighs? Like what in the world? Tell tell me about it. So I I collect sleighs. Okay. And my long term goal oh. is to put them in a really big Christmas tree. Ooh. All these different sleighs as I just sort of shuffle them in there and make decorations. Okay. Them. So I got this one today. Cute. This one today. Ooh. It's a basket. Nice. Gold. Yeah, so it's metal and basket. Yep. And what'd you yep. pay for that one? I paid five for this. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I paid six dollars for this one. Okay. Were any of these on the clearance, or I mean on the 30% off for senior citizen, or the, this, over there? Yeah, this one was uh, $3, oh, but it was 3% off. Uh-huh, that's cute. Yep. Yeah. Oh, let me have one more look at that. I kind of, my camera got messed up. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, look at that. Okay. And then I have this one. This was um, oh. $7, but it was 30% off. Okay, that's good. So $7 with, yeah. take off. Yeah. And it's really heavy. It's a really heavy metal one. That's pretty. Um, this was nice to sit on the back of a, 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 a toilet in yeah. the in the uh, for the Christmas time. Okay. Um, I may or may not paint it. Um, I'll certainly put some potpourri or, or, or any other kind of um, Christmas type garland. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh oh, is that a storage container? It's a storage <laughs> container. So I'm on the sourdough journey. Okay. And so this is probably jar number, I don't know, 10. <laughs> 
it was it was three dollars, <laughs> but I I got thirty percent off, so I got about two dollars into that. Okay, that's and they're good. They're normally around fourteen dollars on Amazon. Oh, that's true. Yeah, don't buy it new. No, and then I got this lay here. Oh, I love that's this. That's a really good price for twenty five dollars. Yeah, Usually so they was... run anywhere from fifty on up, depending on it. So yeah, um, and I'll hang this on my front porch, um, even on a door for Christmas time. Yeah, great idea. So and it I looks like you have some spatulas yeah. too. And I don't necessarily take them down for Christmas. I'll leave this up during the winter sure, months. Sure, why just not? For decoration. Yeah, definitely. And then, um, I got spatulas. Okay. I do a lot of baking and a lot of um, cooking, so I'm always using um, spatulas and washing them. Uh -huh. So these are all silicone, a dollar a piece. You can't beat it. Put them in a dishwasher and we're good to go. Good deal. Could beat that. 31, 32, 33, 34, 5, 6. Yeah, you did all right. And a lot of that was on sale. So I feel I like. I spent about 40 bucks. Yeah, plus the sale because you got 30% off. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, no, I, no, that's right. Yeah. 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 I, I, yeah, yeah right. So you did really yeah. well. Well, I did. That was a lot of fun. Um, listen, if your sister calls you up and says, hey, let's go thrifting, <laughs> just say yes and go. I mean, because it's a lot of fun. And it is a lot of fun. Anyway, just a couple of days after this, one of my other sisters joined us and we went on another shopping adventure. So let's get to it. Two that I was done thrift shopping with one of my sisters. And we were done that day, right, Laurie? We, we were, were, we were, were done. done. We were but done. my other sister, well, one of my other sisters called me and she's like, hey, we have to head up north. There's these Goodwill bins. We're going, right? <laughs> Didn't you think so? I did, I yeah. did. Okay, so maybe you haven't met one of my other sisters. This is my sister, Debbie. Of course, you guys know Laurie because you've seen her before. We, I think we've hit the mother load. We're going to the Goodwill bins. Yep. Have you ever been? I never have, but no. I've seen them on TV and I cannot wait Same to get here. in here. Same here. Have you ever been? I don't think so. I don't think I, well, I think I've been, okay, I don't really know if I've been or not. I've heard about it like you. I've, I've heard, heard about it. it. We're going to go inside. Let's see what happens. This could be the greatest thing ever or the biggest disaster ever. Who knows? <laughs> Let's find out. All right. My other sister is already in and Debbie and I kind of hung back for a second. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Well, we're among the people that we don't that know what we're doing. <laughs> you been to the Goodwill bins before this was my first experience one of my daughters goes all the time in her area down in Virginia but I've never been to one actually this is actually I think I went with her one time now that I think about it I don't remember anyway have you been to a Goodwill bin if you have then you know this experience it's like these great big ginormous well you see them there those big blue things and all the stuff is just dumped into these really large bins. You have to sort through all sorts of things. They have really pretty things next to things not so pretty. I mean, it's the sky's the limit. You have no idea what you're going to find. You just have to do some rooting around. And that's exactly what my sisters and I did for about an hour. And we had so much fun. Let me know down in the comments if you like to go to these Goodwill bins or do you just like to go to a regular thrift store? I don't know, but I would love to hear your opinion about it. Make sure you comment down below. Nineteen seventy-five was the first printing. Really? How old is that one? This says nineteen seventy-eight is the last. Does that mean it's the that this is a nineteen seventy-eight? I would I would say that one probably is. Okay. I have one. We went in and, and I think, I feel like we each did pretty good. We're going to each show you what we got. Let me show you what I got first. Um, I spent a, well, I'll tell you at the end. Just hang on a second. If you saw this, this is a vintage strainer, colander. I don't know. I won't actually use it because it is rusted, but it'll be a pretty decorative piece with some flowers or something like that. 
got these two pieces. Now this is a wooden mallet. I'm gonna clean it and use it. Like I like using wooden tools. I think this one is for darning. Now if you have an idea what this is used for, please let me do, no, no, please tell me down in the comments. I wanna know your thoughts. My guess is that it is for darning socks. So I got those because I like old wooden stuff. Then I found this. So this is a little tree from Hobby Lobby. I love these little trees. And fortunately, not all my Christmas stuff is away, so I'm just gonna stick this with the other Christmas stuff and I'll love it next year. Then, well, one of my sisters found a pair of boho rugs. So you see, this is like a bath rug. It's brand new. I don't think the thing's been used. It doesn't feel like it's ever been washed. There are no stains, like what in the world, this is the greatest. One of my daughters is gonna love this set. And then I found this. So this is a bedspread. Now I'm not gonna open it all the way up, but it is a cotton, like a matte lisse quilted kind of thing. Pretty little design. And one of my granddaughters, actually I only have one granddaughter. They're mostly grandsons, but she's going to enjoy this. Lori, Lori, what did you get? Tell me about it. And well, then tell I me got, how much. Oh I my gosh, one. hang on a second. You guys really put up with a lot. <laughs> all that stuff came to $16 and I think she said 90 cents. I feel like I did pretty good. All right, so what did you get, Laurie? So I collect these metal Christmas oh, trees. Sometimes yeah. I spray paint them a different color. Oh. I like the green on this one, so I'm not gonna change it. Yeah. I also collect this type of snowflakes. It's okay. felt snowflakes with little bitty uh, clear gems up there. Mm -hmm. I probably have about 30 at home. They look great hanging on a window. Oh, fun. That faces outside during Christmas. And I also collect candy canes. <laughs> And my candy and my uh, the Christmas tree at work next year is going to be candy cane theme. So this is just one more candy cane I'm adding to that. Oh, fun! What'd you spend? A dollar sixty nine for all of this. <laughs> Boom! We love it. So here's my other sister. This is Debbie. Debbie, what did you get? I love it already. I'm crazy <laughs> over this. I might have to steal it. Go ahead. Okay, this is um, uh, what I hope is a queen size bedspread. Okay. It's nice and heavy. There were no stains on it. Um, I have uh, three bedrooms, and I've got quilts that are this color off-white in all of them but one okay and I'm hoping that this will fit the third one I really like the little pom-poms pom -poms. and I already have a nice dark bed skirt so this is gonna look really cute oh that's fun and what else did you get an adorable little pewter and I think this is real pewter oh my gosh I love that um, that's so cute the sister Laura who has the blue jacket on in today's video bought me something similar to this that I use for my second bathroom. I like it so much that I wanted one for my kitchen. Okay. To put the things in the kitchen. Oh, like kitchen what kind stuff. of things? Hold it, that's a great idea. Um, I'm gonna put in my uh, hand soap. Yes. That that one brand everybody loves these days. And my, uh, my glass um, red dispenser for hand lotion. Great idea. And last but not least, I'm a history. I see a book. I'm a politics and history buff. Uh-huh. And this is a 1961 history of the causes of the american civil war oh cool. now i'm not saying i'm going to take word for word everything that's in here mm -hmm. but what i like to see is who in 1961 was thinking about the civil war and what did they think about it oh that's so, cool I that's like that. cool how much did you pay i paid a total of 11 dollars in change i gave the rest of the change to the goodwill for charity awesome. So 11 dollars. so don't buy books at the Goodwill when you're paying per pound. That's not a smart dude. But I'm happy with what I got. Awesome. Okay, I think I'm really done thrifting. I know I said that a few minutes ago, but this time I'm really done. We're loading up our stuff. We're heading out. I might stop and get a decaf. Who knows? But anyway, I'll say it again. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.